is National Forensic Science Week. Learning more about what that means, 7 News reporter Ariana Meadows sat down with forensic scientists to find out how they gather information to solve a crime in a story you'll see only on 7. If you've ever watched crime shows, chances are you've seen forensic scientists in action. But exactly how do they get the answers? Gloves, cameras, and fingerprint kits are a few tools they use. According to Anderson County Forensic Scientists, there are two divisions of forensics. Lieutenant Forensics Investigator Chris Scott says one division investigates and gathers evidence from the scene of a crime. Most of the crime that we respond to in this county and probably in every county is property crime. It's probably more property crime than we do anything else, burglaries, auto breakings, stolen cars. He says they take pictures of the evidence and process fingerprints. We may be looking for blood if they hurt themselves entering the building, uh, you know, or footwear impressions or whatever. Um, so it's a lot of, lot of property crime, but it just depends on you know, it just depends on what they leave us. He also says they are trained to tell if someone is trying to cover up evidence. There's always DNA, there's always footwear impressions, there's always other other things to look for, you know, not necessarily just a fingerprint. Regional Laboratory Director Karen Bowen says the other division of forensic science analyzes drugs in a laboratory. The forensic analysts here analyze evidence for the presence of controlled substances or drugs that are submitted by law enforcement agencies between Anderson and Oconee counties. She says after the analysis is finished, the drug reports are given to law enforcement agencies who will then store the reports until they are needed in court. We have very strict protocol on the acceptance of evidence here in the laboratory. There are chain of custody procedures that must be followed before evidence is even received in the laboratory. So we ensure to the best of our ability that no tampering has occurred from the time the evidence was seized until it is even received here in the lab. Bowen also says the amount of time for results to come back varies on the type of case being solved. In Anderson, Ariana Meadows, 7 News. Very interesting. And when evidence is sent to a forensics lab, it can take anywhere from 30 to 45 days to get results back.